About five years ago, we went to our administration. We were, were in need of keeping up with the Joneses and putting in a new facility. And we went to them and they were very receptive as long as we raised the money. Well, they wanted us to go almost all the way and we did that. We got to $26 million raised and it was everywhere you go in town. When are they putting the shovel in? When are they putting the shovel in the ground? When are they putting the shovel in the ground? Now we're putting the shovel in the ground and then the community is just, they're really excited. The university got some funding through donations and um, they were able to uh, put out this project for bid for a new wrestling center which will be right adjacent to Carver Hawkeye Arena. They wanted to connect the two because I believe they have their wrestling matches over in the basketball arena. So they have a shallow tunnel going to an elevator pit which is then going into Carver Hawkeye Arena via a 15 foot diameter pedestrian tunnel. And that's where our scope of work uh, comes into the play. The biggest part of tunneling is starting out right, your setup, making sure that we can get this thing going straight in the ground because if we go off, it could be bad. Luke came to me with this project and I'm thinking, why are we getting ourselves into this? And I'm like, well, why aren't we? We do things that nobody else wants to do, but I think we have a great team to do it. We put a bid together and then we found out we were awarded uh, the contract from McComas Lucina as a general contractor. Uh, the reason we chose Minger over the contractors is their experience. They are very knowledgeable in what they're doing and, and they were a great trade partner on this project. We've never had this kind of scenario where we went and did a tunnel. We've done open cut tunnels, but nothing like this. Minger brought all the experience to the table, walked us through it, and now I feel like I could run with them, you know? And so just from top to bottom, the knowledge of all the guys is what really impressed me. The process of moving the head here to finishing up the pit, to hauling the head in on trucks and making sure the materials were here and putting the head together and making sure you're at the right elevation starting out. Line and grade, I'm, you know, trying to line this up through here. It's just part of the job and we just had to get it done. One of the days I saw kind of like a, a haze of dust and I could see they were through and, and it was, you know, really, really exhilarating. When I got back upstairs into the offices, our executive director of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club had put a text out, they broke through, they broke through. Feeling that air from inside the stadium come through the tunnel head for the first time seeing the inside of the stadium. I could see the, the Hawkeyes symbol up there above the basketball floor. That was a celebration day for us. You know, when the wrestling coach comes up and, and shakes your hand and says, hey, this is awesome, you guys are doing a great job. It makes you feel appreciated in, in doing something of this magnitude. The obvious and hopefully not overlooked part is a huge thank you to all the people involved in you know, McComas Lucina and Mayor Construction for, you know, tackling it and doing it and, and actually executing. And from the bottom of our hearts, we couldn't be more thankful. These guys have all been the best of the best to work with. Never had a doubt. I think Minger wants to do this type of project so we can move to the next level. These high risk, high profile publicity jobs. I mean, Iowa Hawkeye Stadium, who wouldn't want to do it? Every, everyone's eyes are on you. I think that's why Minger, they, they're up for the challenge. Luke ain't gonna back down from it, neither are we. And with the guys that I'm working with here, I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to do it with.